we're here to give you um, women's personal protection seminar. We are going to cover many topics such as verbal aggression, of course, the physical aspect is there, situational analysis, and other components for self-protection. So wherever you are, there is a presence of women's violence. So you have your physical, sexual, psychological, and economic forms of violence um, found both within and outside your home. So um, many people it is uh, sad to say that Filipino martial arts here in the Philippines is not as well known as the other foreign arts. You could say Taekwondo, Karate, Krav Maga, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Um, but abroad, uh, FMA is a very highly respected uh, well, both sport and combative art. We want the Filipinos not necessarily to practice the art, but to know that it exists and to be proud. that is the system we are practicing is the Filipino martial arts system which has a traditional root. So what they say is that Filipino martial arts, since it has, it, it has traditional roots, it's more of a cultural thing rather than a combative uh, art. So what we're trying to do now is to use the principles that we learned, so the tra traditional movements and principles, applying it to the modern time. So using uh, the updates now in, in science, the statistics, and then like how our body reacts naturally. We use those natural body reactions as a starting point for personal protection. So. And then I saw how it translated into um, different types of weapons. So couple stick, double blade, single stick, single blade, empty hand, and also improvised weapon. And I saw that you didn't really have to change your movement so much, it, it all translated easily. So once you learn one, you can just modify it a bit, tweak it a bit, and you'll be able to do that. I don't have to react. I mean, I don't have to learn so many techniques, so many forms, so many uh, uh, drills to be able to be effective. Hindi siya pang tamad, pero pang, it was about efficiency. So I was like, okay, I like this because I didn't have time. It's, I'm, I'm in school, I'm studying, I have to train for, long hours with this, you did not need to invest so much time into it for you to be able to um, appreciate and respect the system. We have a hard time inter inviting women because women have a tendency to, you know, as I mentioned in the lecture, to be shy about things. I can't do it because I'm a girl. There's a connotation, no? So we want to break that connotation. So uh, first, we st this is our third seminar. Uh, it started with inviting friends, and then uh, that's the thing. Oh, the women see the importance after the seminar. Before the seminar, mm, okay, let's just try it. But after, they really see that okay, it's important. First, uh, for my own personal safety protection, and second, uh, for the promotion of both the culture, our Filipino culture, and if I can do something to help another person keep safe or be safe from harm, and that little class or just simple talk, you no, know, um, and it will help them survive. You know, yon. <laughs> Para hindi naman ako laging kinakabahan, lalo pag mag-isa siya, I have to do something. I have to empower her. Na kaya niyang depensa niyo sa kailin niya, what, what matter, uh, whatever na ma-encounter niya sa labas, sa bus, sa jeep, or sa FX. So habang naglalakad from school, o pauwi ng bahay, this seminar niya, uh, I know we can help her out. Uh, I believe na, Yung pagdating sa age, basta marunong na sumunod yung, yung, yung bata sa instruction, then uh, he or she is like for this kind of training. Uh, people always think that they don't need it. People always think, I know, I'm aware. I mean, I've done that. I've seen articles online. I've seen videos online. But to actually train into it, to actually invest time into it, uh, would be beneficial because 
Siyempre, you think you know it, but then with what our, at least our seminar presents you, and also I'm sure the other um, self-defense systems uh, give you, is the sense of urgency and panic. Here, 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 Sander. Sander, Sander. Right. Kundi kanina, first time ko siya nakita na umiyak siya na dahil nakalamdaman niya yung intensity ng ano, yung art of whooping. Di ba, Nak? Anong nasabi mo? Sobrang nakakabak. Kasi effective po siya. Kasi hindi mo makilala yun. Seminar for me, I can say that uh, most special in the last part, time duration. Because we came to the point that we didn't have any idea what we were doing. Just like the usual setup, we didn't have any idea what we were doing. So from here, there's a three station. First was you getting the attention of the crowd. Second is the dark room, so I don't have any idea. But there, I did manage to save my life. And the third one was the cage. Um, that one, so I'm going to do the high scale. And especially the night part, I really like the night part. Although life threatening, siya. but at least I know what I'm going to do. Yeah. That way, push it that way, push it that way. Okay. This way, that's it! Go! <laughs> The seminar na to is simple lang siya, not so fancy stuff like doing some techniques. Sobrang daming techniques, sobrang complicated. I want, I like this seminar kasi sobrang simple niya. The um, nagpo-focus siya sa mindset and um, yung simple technique na yon magagamit mo sa lahat ng situations. Siyempre, minsan naglalakad ako pa away mag-isa. So, I have to be aware. Ganon. Then, since may experience na ako, parang ina-analyze ko whenever I'm alone na naglalakad. Titignan ko yung mga paligid ko, ganyan-ganyan. Tapos, parang iniisip ko anong gagawin ko if ever may mga yan. Here, we start with the lecture of awareness and all that. Because all these physical techniques, as I mentioned, are last resort techniques. What we really want you to learn from this class is how to prevent all that. Because no matter how experienced a practitioner may be, you never ever know what's going to be thrown at you. But in times that you are, you know, being attacked and you think you're going to be raped, can you really tell yourself, bahala na, let it happen? Or, if you have a chance to escape, would you do it? Guys, especially women, we really, really need to join this type of seminar. Because most of the time, we don't have a guard. We need to be prepared at all times. But don't you be panicked. Because if you're a mental block, this seminar will help you a lot. If ever there's something that happens, of course, Pilipinas, hindi naman, ano, sobrang daming ma pwedeng mangyari sa'yo eh. Yan eh. So, ayun, awareness lang talaga. Then, practice din. So, ako na nga sa mali. Kasi po, hindi mo lang po siya ma-experience. May enjoy mo din po siya. Tapos, it will really help you. And it will teach you to fight like a lady. Um, the only way to experience uh, or to see if it's good, to come and join the class. We're all friendly, we're all here for you know, family. That's the thing with FMA. Uh, the Filipino culture is very family oriented, and that is how we deal uh, or how we do or run our FMA trainings and organization. More than just a group that trains, we are first and foremost a family. Other than that, um, it's our own martial art, so I think we should at least try it. You know? uh, no need to train, but at least try it, see, and be proud that we have a very good martial art which is respected. The, around the world.